Okay. Hello and welcome to this short tutorial. I'm going to show you how the program GeoSetter works. It's a program that helps you to geotag your photos and add keywords to them. Geotagging means that you place them on a map. You add the latitude, longitude coordinates to them. Like where are they? Have they been taken on the world somewhere? So uh, let's first show you where you can download this free program. There's the address www.geosetter.de. Okay, let's get started. Well, here in the upper left, I have all the photos that I've taken today. Let's, for instance, select this beautiful water tower. I've got some more pictures of them, so I use the control key to click all of them. And you can see that they're highlighted blue. So now they're all selected. Now I know that this water tower is located in the town of Delft, the Netherlands. So I type in Delft. There we go. And as you can see, the map straight away goes to the city center of Delft. Now let's browse towards the place where this water tower is located. It should be here somewhere. Let's have a look. I think it's this one. It's a bit dark. Ah, oh, there it is. Ah, the round structure. Hard to miss. Okay, so I've placed a pinpoint on top of the tower that I've taken a picture of. And now, as you can see, the photos are still selected. I can attach this geo information, this location, to the photo. So I click this pinpoint with a green arrow to the left and there you go. Now next thing to do, well you can see here that the information has been added, next thing is to add some keywords. So we press Ctrl E to go to the editor and uh, well let's start with the location. This can actually be done automatically for some reason on my computer it doesn't work so I'll do it by hand but uh, give it a try by pressing the button get everything from the web. Uh, so it's the Netherlands and it's province Zuid Holland, start city Delft, sublocation, well I don't think there's a sublocation necessary. Next is the information about the artist, that's me, so I'll type my own name here and my email address of a web address and the copyright information. Okay. And then finally the keywords. Well, I would say this is a water tower. In Dutch we would call this a watertoren. Uh, it's uh, historic, I would say. So, and um, it's being used for drinking water production. Okay. Well, that should be about it, I reckon. So there we go, we apply these values to all selected photos. Click OK, click OK, and then we can save them. And that's the end of our tutorial, you're done. It will take a while to actually store all these photos, and you can see the progress down here. So thank you for watching, and have a good luck with it.